Hello, everybody. Looks like the gauge says it's empty. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We got a beer here from Hill Farmstead Brewery. They're out of Greensboro, Vermont. This is another one that Matt has sent down to me. Uh, like I said uh, yesterday, the, uh, the brewery, I have had uh, some subs send me beers from these guys. They are not distributed in Virginia at all. I don't know how far out from the brewery these guys go, but they don't come here. So, uh, I don't know how big the brewery is. Maybe they're just distributing in the, uh, the Northeast, uh, in the New England states, or, or how far out they're going, I'm not exactly sure. So uh, I was pretty impressed with what I've had from them so far. So let's see where this one goes. This is their Twilight of the Idols. And then it's got something written down there. It looks like it's in German or Danish or something on it there. I cannot read it. Uh, it says here, porter brewed with coffee and aged on vanilla beans. That sounds tasty. This is a 7.2 percenter. And it got the bottle on date right here of 11. Looks like 11, 20 of 2015. It's kind of smudged, but I believe that's what it is. So, uh, and uh, Matt told me that he picked these up at the brewery, I think he told me, uh, in the letter that he sent. So, or in an email. <coughs> So let's get on with this one here, guys. Uh, says 7.5 here, but the bottle has 7.2. Both beer advocate and rate beer both have it at 7.5. So maybe the recipe changes from year to year, or the, at least the ABV does anyway. Commercial description, a winter porter brewed with coffee and cinnamon, aged on vanilla beans, or a holiday ale. It is named after the last text written by one of our philosophical idols, Frederick Nietzsche. Nietzsche? And his Twilight of the Idols, the Antichrist. Uh, I'm not a big book reader, so I've not read it. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think there's anything else that I need to talk about. It does not have the IBUs listed here, and I did not see it on the bottle. So uh, let's go over to the food pairing for this beer. Cuisine is barbecued. She's is buttery brie gouda havarti, Swiss, and since it is a porter, it goes well with your chocolate dishes, of course, and the meat is beef, smoked meat, grilled meat. Glass for a pint back in Alec Tumblr Mug Stein Sidell, my favorite glass again today, and not recommended for extended salary. So I said ABV extended average range, 7.2. This should keep for a little while. I'm not sure uh, what would fade over time if you wanted to sell this for a year or two or three. So let's get the cap off of this one. This is a 500 milliliter bottle, so it's a little bit bigger than a 12 ouncer and a little bit smaller than a 22, I guess. Nice little hit. My smoke coming out of it. <clears throat> and the bottle is it's got a little bit of a greenish brown tint to it, so I better ease up on that pour so I don't get a massive head. And even doing that, we still gotta get us uh, about a finger and a half of head. Khaki colored, off white head, nice creaminess on there. There are a few bigger bubbles from that aggressive pour. Real tight bubbles around the sides of the glass. Over to the light. I got my hand in the way. I'm not getting any light at all, guys. Not even through the thin part at the bottom of the glass. Pretty dark beer. It looks a lot like a stout. It really does. Let's get a whiff. Definitely getting the roasted malt and the vanilla. Little hints of the cinnamon. 
Just a little bit of the coffee, and then, like I said, it's right out the fridge. Uh, that coffee may come out a little more intense as it warms up to room temperature. Smells pretty tasty. Let's give it a chug. See what we got. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, Matt. Thank you, my brother. That is very tasty. Alcohol is very well hidden. Rich, roasted almost to the burnt characteristics of the malt. Banana beans are there. Slight hints of some cinnamon. Maybe just a little bit of dark fruit in there. And those may come out a little more as it warms. Very tasty. Very nice. Very, very well made beer. Got a real, real pleasant aroma to it. The vanilla and the cinnamon and the roasted malt smells pretty good. Smells real good. A nice beer to sip uh, on a January evening uh, when it's blue cold outside. Oh yeah, that's very tasty. Awesome lacing it's leaving on the glass. Well, let me pour uh, the rest of this in a glass for her and sip on it for a little bit and see where this one ends up. Pretty impressive so far right now. I'm going to sip on it for a while see where it ends up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on about 35 minutes or so. Very tasty. Very well-made beer. Now that it's room temperature, the uh, rich roasted malt and the cinnamon and the vanilla beans are... Are definitely there. You, I can taste all of that stuff, guys. Hints of coffee. Not a lot of coffee, but just a slight hint of some coffee in there. Maybe some plums or figs or raisins or dates or something like that. Uh, but the roasted malt and the cinnamon and the vanilla is what's standing out, which is what this beer is based on, according to what the label says here in the commercial description. So it's got all those attributes uh, going on for it. And got the ABV on the bottle. It's got the date on the bottle. doesn't have the IBUs listed anywhere on the bottle or either one of these sites here. So I don't know what the IBUs are on it, but it's not critical on this style of beer. Very deep, rich color to this beer. The nose has got the vanilla really there. Hints of the cinnamon and the roasted malt. Very, very tasty. Very nice on a cold January evening. Final choke. Awesome lacing left on the glass. Very delicious beer. The alcohol is so well hidden. Very well made beer. Very nice. New England is a, a up and coming great craft beer industry up there. Uh, a lot of uh, craft beer, uh, breweries up there are making some very, very tasty beers. So, uh, big stiff competition for a lot of them that's coming out of uh, uh, California and uh, Oregon and Washington. Uh, these guys up in New England are doing some really good stuff too. Really tasty stuff. Very nice. I enjoyed this thoroughly. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. I would. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, guys, uh, 9 out of 10 for me on this one. All the way, this beer could be better if you put it in a bourbon barrel. I'm a big fan of the bourbon barrel versions of stuff like this. So, uh, If I was putting a numeric rating on this, guys, it would be a 98 or a 99. That's pretty close. It's so close to a 10. And if you told me, oh, man, you're crazy, that's a 10. I would not argue with that. It is damn sure tasty. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 95, world class. No doubt, it is a world-class beer. Very well made. Head over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 99 overall and 100 in the style. That's what I'm saying. If, if you say, oh man, this is, this is a 10, uh, I'm not going to argue with that. Would not argue with that for a second. Uh, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, if you've had this one from uh, Hill Farmstead Brewery, this is their Twilight of the Idols. Very tasty. I, I like it. I liked it a lot.
very nice. And uh, if you have it, let me know what you think, guys. And come on back tomorrow. Let's we'll see what we can dig out of the fridge. Maybe we'll get us another 9 or 10. See you then.